Hello viewers and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. One of the most asked questions is how President Advocate Nosun Chamisa assumed power after the demise of Morgan Changrai. We have seen several visions coming into play. We have seen several theories coming into play. But there is a better explanation of these things. Why is it that Nosun Chamisa was preferred over Elias Mzuri over Tokozani Kupe to be at the helm of the then MDC party. Give to Oselo Siziba took time to explain this position. Let us hear. Don't, if you become a president of a party, don't make the mistake of thinking that politics can be driven uh, only on the opinion of the elite. The reason why I gave you a reference of a social contract Let's, okay, yeah, let's go and say we were making a decision. Me, you, and those elites were saying this one is a detector. He's junior in the rank. Say we said, uh, let's put Togozan Kupe there, right? And say this is the part. Because they did it actually. Togozan Kupe was on the ballot representing the MDC. Say, Dave, why I would tell it was politically incorrect to put someone else who was not Chamisa? Even if, say, the law said so of the organization. And the reason why you have to amend certain laws is when you look at the political reality, because it's yes. not the law for the law. Toko Zanakupe is not as law. popular as Chamisa. So we were going to start our part and say, no, we all of us, we follow Mugen Swangrai. The constitution says um, Toko Zanakupe is our president, we put him. Chamisa said, you are right, guys. Your constitution says you are not, I'm going to start my party, Triple K, which is go Ashoma. The guy was going to defeat all of us with our dog trades and all those things, right? So you ought to understand that the deployment of President Chamisa was not because of the interest of the elites. It was because you read the mood. When we went to Zimbabwe ground, anything you attempted to do without showing that you are pushing for a Chamisa ascension, the masses, not some elites in some air-conditioned offices writing on Twitter, Politics is about the people. Mm -hmm. When you say we have lost our leader, so, so who do we take? Yeah, the so, people will tell you. So you're saying we can we can get rid of the constitution no, and no. follow what the people You don't say. get rid of a constitution. You look at the constitution and say, what does the constitution say? The constitution say, if the leader is not there, if the leader is in capacity or a leader is dead, you convene the national executive no, 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 and no, the no. national council no, 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 and no, no, put no. the leader. Automatically, the vice president takes over while no, while no, that no. process is effective. The uh, acting, yes, but that's why Muzuri was acting. No, 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 no. but but Tokozani was never given that opportunity oh, the, in the, the first instance because the other thing we once we were still at the secretary, the guys were let me tell you the other piece of this that we are missing. Cooper, if we go to this with the script of the constitution, Cooper assisted the vice president of the MDC. Because the constitution of the MDC said, if you skip three national council meetings... No, but, uh, but uh, I think she had uh, genuine excuses and she was communicating. No, no, she had no genuine no, excuses. She ah, was communicating. I don't this, realize this, that history. This is when as people across to Kupe, let me tell you, had a fallout with President Swangrai. That is the piece of this I want to give you. Kupe was no longer attending the meetings that were coordinated and called for by President Swangrai. Kupe had become a... a, a, a uh, let me not use that word. Cooper had left effectively. So if you go by that, the reason why Mutsuri becomes appointed the vice president is because Cooper was no longer there in the party. Effectively at law, Cooper was no longer in the MDC. That's one thing you ought to know. That's why Mutsuri became acting. President James then gets a mandate after we followed all the legal process of how you replace a leader. Nothing unconstitutional. Nothing out of this world. In it, fact, we made that decision in line and cognizant of the conscience of the moment, the signal that was being given by the people out there, right? People had started composing songs. I remember the first song I had, uh, 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 Moro Nerra Moro. People were communicating, because in politics we use song to communicate our position. That were ordinary people saying, if we had won against the conscience of the moment, we're just going to suffer into political oblivion. He, he has also been accused of being a... So, if you take a look on um, the argument by Comrade Ostalos, this is a very valid argument right there, and uh, it's worthy uh, an applause there. So, 
what we need to understand what we need to understand at this point is that um, advocate Nelson Nchamisa was popular but he didn't take power illegally he didn't force himself uh, to to the position of influence and power what Morgan Changira knew is that um, his days were numbered he was a sick man he understood what was happening he understood that Kupe was no longer cooperating and had left um, him naked this is the reason why Morgan Changira had to bring uh, two gentlemen which he believed that they were going to steer the ship forward after his departure. And uh, these were Nelson Chamisa and Elias Mzuri. Nelson Chamisa was, was favored to be part of the presidium and uh, he gave people two choices there to say, okay, you the people of Zimbabwe, I'm going to give you two choices. You will have to elect uh, the one who you want from somebody younger or somebody older. This is what Morgan Changrai did because Kupe was no longer in the picture. So if what, what Comrade Dostalos is saying is true, we, we had an argument uh, those, during those days saying that uh, this is the right direction which was supposed to be taken because Kupe was no longer cooperating and Kupe was no longer on board. That remains a fact. No matter how people view it, no matter how people see it, no matter the feelings of our people, that remains a fact that Kupe was no longer cooperating and was no longer available. So it gave Morgan Tsangrai a chance to then convene the NEC and he brought Nelson Chamisa, he brought Elias Mzuri. Because NEC was the only body which could have brought these two gentlemen into, into the picture. The reason why he brought two, two of them is that he understood that there was no vice president at all in the, in the, in the, in the, in the form of Tokozani Kupe. He needed people. But he also understood that at any point in time, he was going to leave. He was going to, to, to leave either uh, to be on sick leave or to die. So, which means he prepared the succession plan well before. As a leader, as the founder of the MDC, you as a leader, there is a vision which you need to follow. There is something which you, you need to follow to say, I am the, 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 the torch bearer. You bring people close who you view that these people are going to lead and uh, they are going to lead us to, 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 uh, to, to success. This is what uh, Morgan Changrai did with Nosun Chamisa there. So for those who understand politics, you'd agree that um, the, the issue about Nosun Chamisa was unquestionable. Everybody knew that uh, working with Nosun Chamisa was the right thing to do. You cannot go against Nosun Chamisa. That was um, uh, something else. So uh, for those who understand these things, they agree that this is the reason why you saw Nosun Chamisa then um, assuming the, the position of the leadership of the MDC because the NEC as the immediate uh, uh, factor was, was there to, to make sure that Nelson Chamisa becomes the, 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 the leader of, of the MDC pending Congress, which means Nelson Chamisa got into there as the leader in an acting capacity, a position which he held up to the Congress. So Although everything was nullified by the courts, I still believe uh, to this day that the courts misdirected and misfired when they removed the leadership of Nelson Chamisa. That remains a fact. The court misdirected itself, the court misfired, and um, they um, illegally removed advocate Nelson Chamisa from the leadership and installed Tokozani Kupe. This was now an issue of uh, uh, personal interests, by, by, by those in power. It was now an issue of uh, national interest. It is, sorry, personal interest, not national interest. It had in, nothing to do with, uh, with the people. It had nothing to do with uh, uh, the democratic processes. And uh, every Zimbabwean who is right-minded would agree with me right here that um, what happened to, Mo, to, to Nelson Chamisa then it was completely out of hand. And this clear position by advocate by, by Gift of Salo is, um, is correct and remains so. So 
one of these things which I, I do not like with, um, with, with people when they're interviewing um, people is that they try to, 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 to make it as if they are giving you hard times. An interview must be uh, informative. You must give the person ex being interviewed time to explain a position. Then you come up with a follow-up uh, question. So I, I believe that uh, uh, gift, gift of Stalos is but then gave uh, a clear position and uh, we cannot argue about this position. We cannot say otherwise. And uh, this, is, uh, this remains the truth and um, this remains